start it. Hello, everyone. My name is Noah Karanga. I'm currently a sergeant at arms here at UGA Toastmasters. Um, I'm in charge of opening and closing the meetings. And I just want to welcome everyone who is new. Hi, Maria. Nice to meet you. Um, Kimberly, it's nice to see you back and the rest of the gang who's here. Um, so I just want to get started um, reading the mission statement, uh, which is usually on our agenda, but we're having a little difficulties today. So we provide a supportive and positive learning experiences in which members are empowered to develop communication and leadership skills, resu resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. And so basically we're Toastmasters UGA and we sort of have maybe different impromptu speeches here and there. And we also give individuals chances to give different speeches. And today I will be also hosting um, table topics in which we have short impromptu speeches. But without further ado, let me pass it on to Trisha. Thank you, Noah. And yes, a great start to our semester. You know, we've got a little bit of technical delays, but it wouldn't be 2020 without any of them. Um, so I just want to welcome everyone here. I think we've already briefly covered uh, in terms of the structure of the meeting. So I will go ahead and introduce some really important roles for the meeting that will help keep us on track. So can I first call on our grammarians to describe their role in the meeting? Hi everybody, my name is Soren and I'm going to be the grammarian today. So I'm going to be looking at each of your speeches and anything that you verbalize and basically see the grammatical structure and to see if it's like complex enough, right? So I'm not going to like judge you guys too hard, it's just to see how you're speaking, I guess. And the word of the day is asunder, which means in two parts or apart from each other, and it's an adverb. Thank you. Thank you, Soren. And next, can we have our all counter to please introduce themselves and explain their role for the meeting? Hello, so my name is Justin. I'm the all counter for today. And my role is to count the repetitive use of words as filler words, as well as counting the use of ah, uh, um, or uh, different things like that. So that is my role and I will give my report. Towards the end. Back to you, Shisha. Thank you, Justin. And finally, last but not least, our timer. Scott, if you could introduce your role. Oh, um, yeah, sure thing, Trisha. Oh, and, and um, hey there, you guys. My name's Scott. I'm going to be timer for today. And basically what my job is going to be is just to make sure that you all stay in time. So if you're going to be giving a prepared speech today, like Trisha is, you'll generally have a bell five to seven, five to seven minutes and if we're going to be doing table topics which Noah's going to be in charge of today we'll each be given say a minute or two minute or two minutes to uh, to give an answer and and at the end at the end of the meeting I'll just give a report to see if everyone was in time or if they went a little bit over time but looking forward to hearing from you guys today back to you Tricia Thank you, Scott. And yes, I would like to confirm that my speech time limit is from five to seven minutes. Additionally, for the evaluation section, um, the evaluator gets two to three minutes. And also, Scott will be put, putting the time in the chat when you have reached your minimum time limit, when you've reached the halfway point, and finally, when you've reached your maximum limit. So in the case of a table topic speech where your time limits are one to two minutes, um, one minute would be your minimum, 1.30, your midway, two minute, your, your final point. But don't worry, if you go over, you do have a 30 second grace period. And that will go into account for when we eventually vote for who is the best table topic speaker. Without further ado, I will go ahead and introduce our first speaker for today. Uh, this is so bizarre doing a third person, but we're doing it anyway. Uh, from the Level 3 Visionary Communication Pathway, uh, she will be giving her speech titled Free Fallen. Please welcome to the stage, me. Oh, wow, what a Monday it has been. Thank you everyone for being here, for taking the time um, to join us on a Monday afternoon. I know everything can be a little bit hectic, but grateful to see y'all here anyway. Can y'all do me a favor and and just 
take a moment and when, where, wherever you're sitting, wherever you are right now, take a couple of deep breaths in and deep breaths out. Deep breaths in and deep breaths out. So yeah, with the start of a new semester, uh, I think there's a lot of different things, a lot of different stories that each of us has to tell. And one of those, which I'm sure all of us has had, is moving. What is it like to move into that, to that new dorm, to that new apartment, to be with roommates you've known before or new roommates that you've never even met until you move in? And if there's one thing that reminds me of my move-in experience this semester, it actually reminds me of one of the first Toastmaster meetings I joined way back when I was a freshman two years ago, where one of the table topics question asked was, when was the last time you tried something new? Now, as a freshman, or a freshman then rather, it's easy to answer that question, right? Because there's so much, you're in an entirely different environment. There's lots of people to meet. But as a third year, you know, sometimes, I feel like, okay, I've got a grasp of campus, or I, I feel like I've, I know what classes to expect about just because I've talked with other people who have already gone through the classes. But this move and experience, I felt was almost a quintessential freshman experience. I think one of the, the things that, you know, you, you, oh yes, I got my freedom here in college is the opportunity to bring a car. And so this is the, the first time, even though I'm a third year, this is the first time I've able to bring a car notice i said a car because it's not my car it's the family car and you know i'm driving you know, my mom's like are you sure you want to bring the car to campus I'm like yeah it's fine it's like are you sure even with you know a mom van a honda odyssey almost two decade old van it's like it's fine you know just in case i might need to move back hopefully not at least you won't have to drive up here worry about the move-in process I can I can move everything myself. I know where my dorm is. I know where everything is. So it's 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 fine. So I move in the day before classes start on a Wednesday afternoon, right? It's blistering hot. I'm driving by myself all the way to Athens. It's just about an hour fifteen. Luckily, I know a couple freshmen and recruitment helping me move in, able to get all that packed up. And so you know, with the car, you need to find a place to, to park it, a place to to keep the rain. I know on, uh, on campus, uh, not housing, on campus parking can be a little bit of a train wreck, but thankfully I was able to, to snag a spot over in the south deck. Well, it's like a, mo a Wednesday afternoon, day before classes. I'm running around, need to move everything, get everything prepped. And so I decided to park my car on the way of Cloverhurst, right behind O House. So if you've never been on that side or Really, if you just look outside your window, the, the trees in Athens, like they're so tall, they're beautiful, they're luscious. And so I'm thinking, you know, wow, beautiful shade, right? At least just for this one, one time overnight, uh, my car will be perfectly fine. I've parked here before. I've seen other people park here before. So it should be totally okay. So I go about the rest of my day, fix everything. Hi, roommate, nice meeting you. Uh, next morning, first day of class, 8 a.m. All right, yes, and I'm, at the end of that first class, I'm sitting in, in the dorm kitchen, like, okay, you know, just about to prep my breakfast. I'm actually on time and I'm ready to go with the rest of the semester, you know, get this, get the fall semester started. And then I receive a phone call. And at first I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll just ignore it, you know. Spam calls, they happen all the time. And then I see a notification pop up. Oh, uh, there, there's a voicemail. Okay, let's, let's see who this is, you know, give them a chance. And then I hear, ma'am, this is the UGA police department calling to inform you about your vehicle. And I'm, oh my goodness, it's only my first day here. Did I park legally? Like, oh, oh, am I, I don't want to get a parking ticket. You know, it's just the first day. And I'm like, so I listened through the message. I like, okay, I need to go check out the vehicle. So I'm walking down the hill over to Cloverhurst. And they mentioned it was something about a tree branch. So when I'm first looking at a distance, I don't see anything on my car. I don't notice anything from a distance. What I did notice was this really large tree trunk that's kind of slightly leaning, almost the personification of the Tower of Pizza, but in tree four. I was like, oh, it's fine. You know, it's not tipped over on the road or anything. And then I walk a little bit closer, a little bit closer. 
and oh, oh, wow, the windshield, it, it's cracked, it's, it's in bad shape. And I'm looking around, like, where, 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 where's the branch on this? And then I see, oh, like something was dragged over onto the side. Oh, there's, there's a true branch. And the police officer was kind enough to wait and, and explain the situation, how he found the car. And like, well, I was like, ma'am, like I'm, in, internally, I'm freaking out. It's like, oh my gosh, what are my parents going to say? I couldn't even take care of the car for one night, you know? Uh, it's not even my car, it's their car. And even then, I couldn't take care and be responsible of it. Uh, and so this whole hot thing happens where I'm, I'm struggling to find, okay, I need a call and, and go ahead, grab my parking pass from, from Tate. I need to move my car. I need to walk down, walk in and out, walk in and out, prepare for the next class that's coming up in less than two hours. And so I'm breathing, I'm huffing, I'm breathing, I'm huffing, and finally I get the chance to sit down in time for my next class. And then again, I'm reminded of what we just did earlier to, to breathe to breathe in and breathe out. I think it's one of those quintessential scenes. Uh, Karate Kid, if you've ever watched the older version from the 80s, uh, the second movie, so it's essentially the, the sensei teacher, Mr. Miyagi, and, and his protege, uh, Daniel. And he's, he's coming home frustrated from a school dance, and Mr. Miyagi you know, has this great wisdom where, where he says, when, when life, uh, I'm paraphrasing here, where when life gets crazy, you go back to, to the natural state, which is to breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. And so I think as we're entering this semester, I think that's a great lesson or maybe not even a lesson, just something to incorporate in your daily lives. I know there's a lot of change for all of us, whether you've been here all four years or whether you've just transferred. Um, sometimes it can feel as if though you are separated or asundered from the mass student population of UGA. But to remember that you can still continue to find community. And if things continue to get a bit too hectic with a class or project or some drama between groups of friends, to, to remember to breathe in and breathe out. And that tree, oh my goodness, if there's anything to learn from that situation. I can imagine the tree, uh, the tree branch rather, as it fell onto my windshield, that that it was still singing, you know, Tom Petty's free fun I'm free. And dun, 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 free falling, right? Like that tree is literally free falling onto my window. And there's a multitude of ways of how that situation could have gone. But remembering to breathe in and breathe out helps me and I hope helps you as we transition into this new semester that's so completely different than any of us might have expected. Thank you. And with that, I'd like to ask Scott where our speaker, or was our speaker rather, since it was a single speaker. Oh, I went eight minutes. Uh, that's okay, a little bit over, um, which for those who are new to our meeting, if we were to have two or three people, this is where we typically um, vote. Um, but since I, I was disqualified for going over, so it doesn't matter either way. Um, but with that, we will go ahead and transition over to the second part of our meeting, which is table topic. So to introduce the section and how that all works, I'd like to introduce our table topic speaker, or table topic master rather, Noah. Noah, the stage is yours. 